it is what it is. You know, I think we always try to maintain a high level at this club and we always want to want to compete for titles. I think that's what we done last year. We did really well, uh, winning two uh, semis and a final. Uh, I think in these types of games, you can you can lose. The, 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 the other teams are very, very good. And that particular night, we, we lost the game. So, so you move on. Obviously, coming back into the Euros, I was happy that I could come back so soon and did well. But then, obviously, the ankle injury happened. And it is what it is. There's nothing I could do. I, I got tackled and my, <laughs> my ligament snapped. So uh, there's nothing else. So I just had to try to get back in the best way as possible. And uh, it took some time and it was a little bit painful. But I feel very well much much better now so i'm very happy about that i'm i'm excited to go back home obviously it's been the first time to play at home except the national team says i've left and that's about 10 years ago or something so that's a long time um but obviously i think people will always uh, set the standard high and higher and i think because of what we've done in in england for the last five six years people expect us to win the champions league and that's what we want to do um doesn't say that we're gonna win it but we always try to compete for it and i think in the last six years we've been one time in the round of 16 and the the other other five times i think we did quarterfinal or better so we're always competing for it but we've not managed to win it but we, we, we're trying so um i think that's the only thing we can do and hopefully in my period here we, we'll get one but does it define your legacy for players out for for people outside maybe yes i think it depends you look at the situation and i'm very happy with what we've done as a club for the last six years so I, I, i'm very happy with that listen with gabriel and, and nelly we are together four or five years so they don't need uh, special things to be to be ready we will talk to them how they feel i'm pretty sure they will feel good because they recover really well both of both of them and they train uh, one or two days there with our physios, our physical trainers, and uh, and Richard, the keeper trainer. And uh, yeah, we'll see tonight how they feel. By the top side, what we have seen is uh, physicality. They know exactly what they have to do. They are an incredible aggressive team and with a lot of quality up front. If uh, since March just scored a goal, it's because it's one reason why they are good. Uh, but we go there. Uh, we have four games left, 12 points to fight, uh, to qualify for uh, last 16. And tomorrow we're going to try to, to win the uh, next three. This is the target. So we will see as the game, have a plan. Uh, the mentality will be the same. Uh, we're going to adjust them. Hopefully our way we play, we can let them adjust as much as possible and, and control the game and get a good result. Listen, the, the seasons are too, so long. So it's 11 months. And saying there are high and lows. The important is to be as a holding midfielder to be so stable. Always this seven, eight, seven, eight. It's not nice to have a big performance like number ten and after have a, a two or three. Maybe for a winger, for a striker, can do it, but as a holding midfielder, it's not good. And uh, I think now he's so stable. He's uh, he's uh, he's learn no learning because always pay attention, but he's realizing what we are looking for. Because sometimes you need time to understand what you're looking for. And uh, yeah, we are more than satisfied. So we knew it when we, we worked to him in Atletico Madrid and he's growing and hopefully he can become a better player and better player. It depends on him. And he's opened his mind and he can understand what he has to do uh, because still he has margin, uh, a margin to, to, to be a better player. And hopefully we can help him. Well, we spoke, of that, we spoke about that. And uh, about uh, what he has to live uh, when he's not here in the terms of eating and resting and sleeping and living 24 hours just for his profession. But uh, what he has done so far is excellent. So except that this game against, against Barilla's game, he played every game uh, in a good level. And uh, I'm pretty sure he will improve because also for us, for the manager, you have to, to be where is the better position for him to... to to give us, but the games he played, he played really well. So I'm pretty sure if it's his, his focus and what you have to do uh, uh, in the game on and off the pitch, he's able to do it because he's strong, his weight is perfect, his body fat is perfect, and uh, 
I think his mentality is in the right position. So hopefully we can help him, uh, you know, to, to, but it's true. It's the first time you play every three days. And it's different when you play every three days, just in case sometimes, but we play 11 months every three days, three, four days. That is a bit different. It's a good challenge for him.